how to get more FPS on Minecraft. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this method gives off more than six times performance than vanilla. And I'll be walking you guys through the installation process to enchant your Minecraft gameplay. I will also be putting it to the test between vanilla Minecraft and this insane client Minecraft. So open up whatever browser of your choice and either click the link in the description or just type in lunarclient.com. And once you guys have done that, you guys will be brought up with this big download button. Click on it. They have Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And you guys just want to pick whatever operating system you know your computer is running off of. And in my case, I'm running a Windows computer. So I'm going to click on download on Windows. And after you guys have clicked that, you guys will see this exe right here. And all you guys want to do is click on it. Then right here, you guys will be brought up with this agreement. You guys just want to click on I agree and wait for Lunar Client to install. And after it's finished installing, you guys will be brought up with their amazing launcher. So now you guys can go ahead and close your browser as you guys will no longer need that. And once you guys are brought up with the latest version of Minecraft, you guys just want to click on launch and just overall wait for it to load up. And after this loads up, guys, I'm going to show you guys some insane tweaks you guys can do to, you know, enchant your Minecraft gameplay. So when your Minecraft loads up, guys, it's going to look something like this. Click on single player. You guys just want to make a new world. And with this new world, you guys want to make sure the difficulties on peaceful. Make sure allow cheats is on. And then you guys want to click over to the world type and make sure it's super flat. As super flat, ladies and gentlemen, will give you guys the most sufficient FPS possible as there would be nothing in your way to decrease your FPS. And then after that, you guys just want to create your new world and wait for it to, you know, create. And after guys, you're done creating your world, you guys will be brought with this default super flat world. Right now, guys, I'm currently getting 50 frames and my Lunar Client profile is extremely messy. Guys, your default Lunar Client profile might look a little different than mine's. It's because this is not fully the default Lunar Client profile. I'm currently on the UHC profile of Lunar Client because unfortunately, I changed up my default Lunar Client profile already as I've been using this client for ages. So it might not look like this, but I know your Lunar Client profile will look extremely messy. But first things first, before any of that, first change up our Minecraft settings. As right now, our Minecraft settings are the most important setting within trying to achieve a lot of FPS. Our video settings right now, it is all over the place. But before I even touch this, I'm going to change my FOV. And if you guys didn't know, the lower your FOV is, the more FPS you guys can get. The first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to change your graphics to fast. And once you guys have changed your graphics to fast, you guys want to turn off smooth lighting, make sure the level's all the way down. After that, you guys want to change your GUI scale to either normal or large. It depends on whatever monitor you have. Then change your render distance to three chunks. Change your stimulation distance to five chunks. Put up the max frame rate all the way to unlimited. I am getting a whole bunch of FPS as of right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to details and I'm going to turn off the cloud. You guys want to make sure your trees is on fast and it's also lowest quality. I'm turn off sky, sun, and moon. You guys want to also turn off fog. I'm going to make your vignette to fast. Your entity distance all the way down to 50. Rain and snow to off. Turn off your stars. Alternative blocks. Turn off swamp colors. Your biome blend all the way to off fastest. And then after that, you guys are basically done with your detail setting. Go to animations and turn all your animations off. And then after that, guys, you guys want to go into quality and make sure you guys turn all of these options to off so exmissive textures make sure that's off you guys also want to turn off custom fonts turn off connected texture you guys also want to turn off custom sky and you guys want to turn off custom entity models you guys also want to turn off random entities you guys also want to turn off custom colors custom items yeah we should miss a founder still and after you guys have turned off everything in your quality settings you guys now want to leave your quality settings and go over to performance settings and you guys want to make sure you guys have fast render on and fast math on and after that you guys are done with your performance settings now you guys want to go to other and make sure your weather is off. You guys are done with your Optifine settings. We're now getting about 2.4k FPS, which is not bad, but we definitely could achieve way more than this. So now it is time to tweak our Lunar Client settings. So what you guys first want to do is you guys want to click on Shift on your keyboard and it'll open up this menu. You guys now want to do the same steps that I do. So you guys want to go into your Lunar Client settings, turn off your coordinates. Unless you guys need your coordinates, I would recommend you guys turn off this mod because if you guys didn't know, the less mods you guys have displaying on your screen, the more FPS you guys will get. Turn off mods that you don't think you need to see or even use so armor status i don't need that but unless you need that then you would have to keep that on and my potion effects i don't need to see that as of right now because i'm trying to show you guys how to get the most maximum fps and as i said again unless you need these mods then i would recommend you keep it on same with the ender dragon i don't need that on either as i said again i'm just trying to show you guys the way to get the most efficient fps so you guys want to go over to your toggle sprint and you guys want to make sure the toggle sneak slash sprint hud is off and you guys just only want your fps mod to be on as that's all you guys want to see then you guys want to go over to the settings right here and go into the general all these cosmetic options you guys have here you guys want to turn these all off and the reason i'm telling you guys to turn these all off is because this actually affects with your fps a lot if you see other people's cosmetics because they could have a bunch of cosmetics on them and it would affect your performance like crazy and what you guys want to do also is turn on boardless full screen and turn on transparent background and for your fire height you guys also 
want to turn that all the way down so you guys can get the most fps possible especially when pvp and after you guys have all that done you now want to go over to performance and now this is where more fps comes into play so for hide ender portals you guys want to make sure that's on always also turn off your enchantment glint you guys want to make this lowest of your shadow make these two also lowest and turn off show ground arrows and show stuck arrows and after you guys have done that we're now going to see how much fps we're getting and after all those weeks ladies and gentlemen we are now getting about 3.5k fps which is insane one last thing i'm going to do to my fps mod is i'm going to turn off the background of it just like so and i'm also just going to put it more up in the middle just like so too and we're getting a whole bunch of frames guys this definitely is a lot better compared to the frames we were getting before but you guys are probably thinking is that all the tweaks no there are more tweaks we can do so what we could do guys is we can change our version of minecraft to 1280 by 720 and once we do that guys and go on full screen mode now should be getting a whole lot of more frames yep we're now getting almost to 4,000 frames as you guys can see i know def oh yep we just got 4,000 frames just like so on 1.20 and thing in lower resolution definitely can impact your frames like crazy which is why i'm telling you guys this tip i definitely recommend you guys playing 1280 by 720 if you guys also want more frames and i might in the future guys do a pc related video so you guys can you know do some pc tweaks to get more frames but this is just me showing you guys how to get more frames strictly on minecraft now i know most of you guys are probably wondering well am i able to see how much frames i'll be getting in a pvp experience and i'm going to be showing that off to you right now so guys we are now on mcc island and as you guys can see right now i'm getting about a thousand frames when even looking at people i might be bad at mcc island because i've actually never played this before i might be kind of bad at it right now i'm playing sky battle but as you guys can see we are getting a whole bunch of fps right now audible point 20 with pvp action going on we're getting about a thousand six hundred fps which is insane even when fighting people we're still getting roughly about 800 frames which is actually insane and i'm currently playing on 1280 by 722 just to show you guys you know more of an impact you know fps can do with resolution and as you guys can see god i just killed somebody just like so and i just sadly died but that is just to show you guys how much frames we were getting on mcc island a game mode that is you know has a lot going on in it by the way but now i'm going to show you guys mcc island on vanilla minecraft just so you guys can see the comparison within fps now guys we're on 1.20 vanilla and as you guys can see the fps difference is honestly insane right now i'm only getting about like 500 to 600 frames when before i was getting about like a thousand in these areas and now I can no longer achieve that even going lowest to down to like 400 and when pvping people let's see what we get while pvping people we're still getting about like 600 frames but this definitely is lower than before i could tell you guys that for sure and that lunar client definitely has a huge impact when it comes with fps and the tweaks that we did as now i can't even achieve a thousand fps at all which is insane when pvping people and i just quickly fell off just so i could just quickly die but that is an insane fps comparison right now going through the map we're getting about only like 500 which as i said again ladies and gentlemen is a huge fps difference but other than that guys i hope you guys did enjoy today's video and i hope this method helped you guys out a ton as it definitely helped me out a ton and i hope it will definitely help you guys out a lot as you guys can see we're getting literally almost 4,000 frames which is insane and oh there we go we just hit 4,000. and overall this helped me out a ton and as i said again i hope you guys it will help you out a lot but i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure you guys hit the subscribe button like it comment other than that guys i'll see you all in the next video peace out